I'm Alex. And I'm Teddy. And I'm Spencer. And we are the Button Mappers. Hey, the Button Mappers. change my mic so yeah i need a second one <laughs> was, that funny? was that a funny, funny joke? yeah was it a good joke was it a funny joke did you like that? i'm recording so i'll insert a laugh track for you when the, when you did that one can you can you also insert like before i, I like before we came on screen can you insert like seinfeld <laughs> 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 this should replace the laugh track in Seinfeld with just that the the melody. <laughs> Jerry, did a uh, uh did did I wink at him on accident or was it the lemon in my eye? <laughs> It's like super long, like waiting yeah. for it to stop. Yeah, I was in the pool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the idea of waiting for the laugh track. Yeah, yeah. It just never, ten seconds never comes. It's just the music. No, 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 no. The I, dead faces. I yeah. like the opposite idea. I like doing a sitcom where there's there is a laugh track, but the laugh track lasts too long. Yeah. So, so 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 they're like waiting for it to stop before yeah. they can, mm. can continue the show. It's like irritatedly. It's like one of the, it's like, like hey, yeah. It's like hey, neighbor, yeah. And yes! it just goes for like it just goes for like thirty <laughs> seconds. <laughs> like big... and, yeah, and they're all just like 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 the camera's cutting to them all just standing there waiting <laughs> for the <laughs> for it to stop. Like big Kramer fan in the audience. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> one guy, one guy in the studio audience, just Kramer. Yeah. <laughs> For the needlessly laughing at something that is not funny at all. Like, yeah, yeah. I forgot my cu- my cream today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the crowd just pops off, and they're just like, <laughs> <laughs> "What is happening? <laughs> like, what?" <laughs> Oh man! All right, Seinfeld. who's driving? When's Seinfeld month? Yeah, when is Seinfeld month? How could that work? That wouldn't work. We do map out season one. <laughs> we'll map out Seinfeld, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Char- character talk. <laughs> Apartment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with the button mappers? <laughs> <laughs> I've watched every episode. They haven't mapped a single button. <laughs> <laughs> they say they're a gaming gaming podcast, but they talk about Fred Durst. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Mother Month. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mother Month. <laughs> I'd be confused with Mother Month. Even Ooh. though we've already done an episode of Mother Month last month. Don't confuse the audience. This is Welcome to Mother Month. This is a Welcome to Mother Month moment. <laughs> you know what you call that? A perfect segue. Do, Which, do segues have motors? They yes. have motors, yeah. That would be yeah. yeah. That's a good yeah. point. Have you guys ever wrote a segue? No. Yeah, me either. What a motorcycle. Thing, a list of things I've never done, and if I ever do it, shoot me. Write a Segway, wear a pair of Crocs. What else? Do you for Crocs? Yeah, shoot me if I wear a pair of Crocs. Why? Controversial statement here. I think you're stupid. <laughs> All right, I get my gun ready. My gun is loaded. <laughs> if I ever wear a pair of Crocs, that's when you know something's gone terribly wrong in my life. <laughs> I'm going to find you. 
Oh no. I'm gonna... They were going croc hunting. <laughs> Alex is going to wake up one day with crocs, so I'm just going to be like, oh shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what did I do last <laughs> night? <laughs> boom, 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 at my door. Yeah. <laughs> That's the plot of an action movie right there. Yeah, yeah that's the action movie plot. Yeah. Did you guys see Jason Guns Akimbo? Jason Statham in Croc Hunt. Guns Akimbo? No, I didn't see Yeah. It. It's Daniel Radcliffe. He wakes up and he's oh, got Harry Potter. guns strapped to his hands. That's pretty hmm. badass. Like they're nailed into his hands and he's in like a a, a real life pillum game like versus deathmatch. And it's like a blood sports like people are watching. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Daniel Radcliffe did went did like all these weird movies. Yeah, the last thing I saw him in was the one movie where he's a dead guy. What was that movie called? Maybe it was like uh something man, something Oh fuck. I don't remember the names of any of them. Dead man? It's, they're so bizarre. Something knife man, something tool man. I don't remember. But Tim what are those? Tool man what, are the, what are the okay, hold on. What are the pocket knife things called that have like all the different tools Switch on play, it? Switch Army knife? Yeah, yeah, Swiss, yeah Swiss, Swiss Army Man. That was the movie. Oh, I think I've heard of like that. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, that was the last thing I saw him in. I couldn't it's remember the name of the film. So bizarre. <laughs> yeah. He's really wanted to shake off the Harry Potter thing, which is genius. To, yeah. to like, it's like, okay, now I'm, I'm moving on from Harry Potter. I'm going to do the weirdest shit so it's like a palette. I mean, if you have all that fame, might as well. I mean, that's what you want to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> Being the weird stuff. You he also looks like drugged out and washed up. A little bit oh, yeah. is little leaning bit, into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. As, as character, anyway. <laughs> I'm not Jason Harry Statham anymore. Is in Croc Hunt. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he wakes. He wakes up. Oh bloody hell! There's a pair of Crocs on his feet. <laughs> he just runs out the door. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Why do I have these Liam Neeson. Yeah, he gets a call from Liam Neeson. I'm gonna find you. <laughs> 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 I, I warned you what would happen if you wore those Crocs. <laughs> you, you made it. The Crocs not you made it. <laughs> you made an oath, and now I intend to live up to it. The <laughs> night prior on the on a, on a live podcast, yeah, guys. If you ever catch me wearing Crocs, just shoot me. <laughs> so. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> Not only is he wearing Crocs, but he's wearing the Crocs that have like the little fucking charms. Mm. And it's like th- it's a, this uh, one's a lighter, or <laughs> this one's a star. You know, it's yeah. Crocked out. It's like Crocs on hands, Crocs on feet. Crocs okay, on now balls. if Croc if Crocs made a full body suit, yeah. you want to be you want to this to be a hole down and where the waist is. Yeah, two holes, one in the front and one in the back. If I gotta wear that <laughs> for the nips. Come on, let's let's leave some loopholes in there for the belly button. Would it cover the face? A full body suit? Yeah, Maybe. it'd have to. It has the holes, right? It's like Swiss cheese. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's actually made of Swiss cheese. You ever eat a crock before? <laughs> you ever chewed on crock? <laughs> I had Swiss cheese on my feet. Can I say? It smells like it already. Swiss cheese is yeah. nasty. I don't like it. You like Swiss cheese? I hate it. It makes me throw up just smelling oh, it. I like Swiss cheese. You're not a dairy guy, are you? No, I do dairy. I like regular cheese. What? Well, there's no really regular cheese. Like, wait, what do you call regular cheese? Cheddar? Just like your cheddar. Yeah. Your average yeah. normie cheese. Basic bitch cheese. Normie cheese. Average cheese. Yeah, your average cheese. <laughs> it's your I average like cheese ch- gamer. I like guys. that weird cheese, man. I like a nice <laughs> fucking Havarte. <laughs> Give me that weird shit. <laughs> Give me that weird shit. <laughs> yeah, you the fancy cheese. Oh, <laughs> <spicy Havarte. laughs> Motor mouth. No. Cars run on cheese. <laughs> if you're driving right now, don't eat any cheese while you're driving. Void. Yeah, don't cheese. cheese and don't cheese and drive. Don't cheese and drive, folks. <laughs> this this promo has been paid for by the National Cheese Association. <laughs> <laughs> don't cheese and drive. Cheese and thrive. <laughs> cheesing. <laughs> I'm I'm just imagining I'm like driving down the highway and I have a bag full of shredded cheese next to me. <laughs> the cops are like looking at your car like after you've crashed into a light pole and they're like they got like a pole and they're like yeah I see a little bit of Havarti. 
Um, <laughs> even some Gouda in the back if you look careful enough. No, I always imagine like son. Oh, what are you I always imagine like a like like a Mexican blend of like of, of shredded cheese yeah. that I'm just eating by the handful out of a bag, <laughs> and then and then I crash, and then it just there's just shredded cheese everywhere. Yeah, oh, <laughs> nightmare. I'm seeing like a pastor, and he's like blessing the like the people who are like coming to church, who are coming to you know like, forgive me, Father, I've sinned. Son, don't worry. It's made with the blend cheese. Been forgiven. Forgive me, the, Father. The I Kroger have blend. <laughs> the Kroger Mexican blend. <laughs> Thank you, Father. I appreciate it. Respect all cheeses here. Son. <laughs> the white and the Mexican cheese. <laughs> here, have some provolone. <laughs> <laughs> See what's going on with the black cheese. Uh oh. Whoa. If you have some black cheese, throw it out. <laughs> Is there a black cheese? Mold. Moldy. That's, that's mold. <laughs> I mean, it's blue I mean, cheese, which is, which is also mold, but it's good. Isn't cheese essentially just mold? Like, like gold basically. That's gold. why I don't like it. That's, 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 what, that's what Terry's gonna say <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> that's why I don't like it. Because <laughs> Terry thinks cheese is gross. He does. He's like moldy. Che- che- cheese on everything. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he does. I'm like, yeah, I eat cheese on everything because it's fucking good. <laughs> what does Terry okay. eat? Bangers and mash. He probably eats beans for breakfast. Hey, he's friends with the local shepherd. <laughs> spy. Shepherd's <laughs> spy. Yeah. Excellent. He eats the like shepherd. Be- beans on toast. I see like pictures of like of like UK breakfasts that I'm like, I would never eat this in a day in my life. <laughs> you, well, UK food is trash. Like, let's yeah. just be real <laughs> about it. They're, like that's not why you go to the UK. Yeah, it's no one's ever like, let's get some <laughs> fine UK dining. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't have you. <laughs> UK restaurants. <laughs> yeah, we have, it's the only restaurants. We don't have any of them over here. Yeah. We even, yeah. I even have like a German restaurant down the street, which is kind of bizarre. Yeah, I but, like German food. But even you have that, and then you have like Italian, French. Greek. In Ireland, Greek. which is on the same island. Yeah, you even have Ireland food. You get Irish. You get corned beef and hash. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody eats UK like <laughs> English food. It's trash. Yeah. Even when it's an option on the menu, I'm like, shepherd's pie. Do I really want this dry bread in my mouth? <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Please, Terry, let us know. Why, what are we missing out on? Why yeah, are we your, wrong? What's, what's the meal we, should need, we need to eat? <laughs> culture us. Give us the culture, a.k.a. the cheese. Okay, next. And, and if it's beans <laughs> on toast, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm not eating that. No, stay, Terry, even if it is beans. It's fine. Just, we might not like it. <laughs> <laughs> Vroom. Vroom. <laughs> Welcome to Motor... Welcome to Motor Month, where it is not Racing Month. It is Motor Month, where you're celebrating mm. all things motors. Woo! Is game talk? We start. We start. We start. Game talk with questions. But before that, I have to say that the button mappers. Are available uh, on Apple Podcasts uh, 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 and Spotify. And don't forget to join the Discord, where I will argue with you over call to actions, apparently. <laughs> yeah. You just enforce the rules. <laughs> that's, that's your job. You are the enforcer, the rule enforcer. I'm the rule enforcer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alex did the dirty jobs that we didn't want to do. Be mean to people yeah. on Discord. That's Listen, fun. I, I'm the I mean, prompt setter. He's the rule enforcer. Mm, Afterwards, yeah. he'll give you the rules after you've already broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I give you a chance. It's like it's like the opposite of Minority Report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and that movie, they, they they stop you before you can even commit it. I just wait. <laughs> he waits so long after you've committed and weren't even told yeah. what the rules were, you, and then he yeah. charges you for it. <laughs> Slap, <laughs> slap the cuffs on. <laughs> yeah, 
coming with me. But what did I do? You'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Strap on tight. You broke the rules you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, and uh, okay, make sure you, if you're, you're listening to us on YouTube, make sure that you like, comment about, oh, well, well, we'll do the comments in a second, but like, subscribe, ring the bell, or honk the horn. <laughs> Motorboat the comments. Well, hold on. Well, well, the comments for next month would be what? What's the game talk for next month? What's the, what's, do this. what's the month? I don't know. Is next month dude month? It's dude tober. Dude tober. <laughs> yeah, dude tober. <laughs> so what? What, go, what comments are they like about dudes? All things dude. Like the big Lebowski. Multi master. Multi. Yeah, the dude. Multi master should, should should have a lot to say this time. Um, well, that, that, is, that is a big question. Did he leave? A, is, did he leave it? I don't. Oh. Well, I will not. find out. This is your last chance, bud. I'm staring at him. He's he's out. Oh, he's out. You got disqualified. He's out. But we have to have he a new one. For dude yeah, we, yeah, we have to. We will crown a new one at the end hey, of the episode. It's, it's com- well this episode because it's community response month. We could do that. What next? What do? Oh yeah, it's we do have one this month. That's right. We do. Okay. Yeah. It's we crazy. Do. You got to be an extra button mapper enthusiast. Okay. Well, then there you go. Make, yeah. make sure that you answer the call and uh, you could be make the a next video question response. Yay! Woo! Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we did it, guys. <laughs> a it's legit actually make a video applicable. response. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's yes. like a something just went full circle. I don't know what it was, but something just clicked somewhere. Yeah, Crazy. I feel like we can just we we can end the podcast now. We've done it. Yeah, <laughs> we, we can just yes. our work here is done. <laughs> the, show, the show's over. <laughs> it's a good run. I really, you know, so much to look back on. <laughs> oh boy! But today it's all things motor. Room, room, game talk. Room, room. room, room. Or Thor, Mo Thor. Okay, it's time for questions. Bust out your questions. We're gonna map some questions, and for next month, your questions gotta be dude related. But let's start back in the day, twelve days ago. That's the most oldest comment coming from the old cheese himself, Turbo Zone. Turbo, Turbo. That's me. That's my cheese bows. Turbo and the Turbo. Dude. Like the queue. You are designer for the hit 2011 video game, Jimmy Johnson's Anything with an Engine. We talked about that. And he says this is a real game. You're, you're, you are tasked with creating a new vehicle for the game out of a regular household object for Jimmy Johnson to drive around. What do you create? Turbo came up with the question. You decide. I'm going with a toaster. Nice. You put, and like the pedals are in both sides, so you have to like sit on and put your legs down in the in the slots, and then you you, you steer it around. Nice. Uh, um, Food items count. Household item. Okay, let's say you Uber eats from Jimmy John Subway sandwiches, mm-hmm. and you get the Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> you get enough Philly cheesesteaks to create a compostable vehicle. Oh shit! Us, Jimmy Johnson drives the Jimmy John's Philly cheesesteak vehicle in the sequel. There you go. <laughs> nice. I'm going with something that already exists. The Nimbus 2000, and because I want to get the girls to, to start racing. You're going for the Harry Potter vibrator. Oh. Yeah, Harry Potter vibrator. Here we go. Daniel Radcliffe confirmed. Absolutely. Or maybe the other girl. I don't remember her name. Uh, the other girl. I should, wait, is Daniel Gr- Radcliffe the first girl? <laughs> Daniel, if, if yeah. another... Daniel, like Daniel the girl. Daniela yeah. Radcliffe. Danielle Radcliffe. <laughs> Radcliffe. 
I, I thought he I was a guy. It, you know time. what I'm saying? Well, you were wrong, Alex. <laughs> I, I understand those movies at all. It's often, often you mistaken for a guy. What do you call it media res or something, or uh, where she, an author changes something after the fact? Yeah, J.K. J.K. Rowling. She was J.K. <laughs> J.K. Uh, Rowling. It's it J.K. Danielle Radcliffe. Yeah. <laughs> J- actually, J.K. Um, Rowling changed Daniel Radcliffe's gender. <laughs> I, you know, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. She did that with Dumbledore, right? She was like, oh, yeah. he's gay now. It was like, yeah. when has he ever been? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sure. After everything. Yeah. Everything you knew is a lie. Dumbledore's yeah. gay. <laughs> he's a man lover. I would be so great if she rewrote the book, like, like did a re-release of Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> And there's yeah. like all it was was an added line where he says, "I like cock," said Dumbledore, <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then just moved on. And my editor didn't like this. And I told him at the time, "You're being homophobic." Yeah, you're just you're just a homophobe. Yeah. <laughs> I like the idea of keeping Harry but changing Daniel to Danielle to Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Next one comes from Majority. What is are the most satisfying vehicles you've controlled in a video game? The F Zero uh, GX vehicles. <laughs> yeah. That's mine. Good. That's my choice. Um, it's in Halo Two. The Damn it, yes huge i don't know what you would call them at this point but the huge like scorp like not the scorpion because that's an american yeah. and a a human one it was the the uh alien alien yeah giant alien tank? vehicles tank yeah the, i don't the tanks yeah because you have to fight your way in and like beat the shit out of the guy and get him out and then you <laughs> hop in you feel like such a fucking badass doing that Those are good. yeah my my second choice would have been the ghosts mm. from halo 2 if you can Those time so it fun. right and you jump on them banshees and- the banshee, I jack in a banshee too is fun. Bans- the ones that are fly around. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, those are fucking sick. I'm gonna go pilot wings on the 3ds. I had 64. I really like the. Um, it's a hang glider. Yeah, it's a hang glider. Yeah, and then the Mario Kart Seven ones are fun too with the hang gliders. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Never heard Teddy. of him. Mario. Who's that? There you go. Mario, Kart. Maria, Mario. Mario. changing all genders. <laughs> Mario, <laughs> Maria, right, the next one. Maria's cart, yeah. <laughs> In the back, cynical gaming block Terry three hundred nine. This one in a UK accent. Uh, let's jump. Is the car you tend to use the most in racing games with licensed cars? Very good. Boy, thank That's you. That's easy. What is it? <laughs> okay. What's the answer? <laughs> my, favorite, my favorite car of all time is the El Camino. Say it again? We cut out, yeah. The El Camino. Oh, okay. And I have, oh. I actually, I have an El Camino, and any game like Gran Turismo and stuff that has El Caminos, I usually get it in El Camino. <laughs> so it's pretty, it's pretty simple. <laughs> when I played Gran Turismo... On the PS2, that was the longest I ever played that game. I basically stuck with a Dodge Viper. So I'll say Dodge Viper. Uh, I'll stick with the Outrun car. I really should know the name of this thing. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Do you drive in Outrun? Why did Nokia failed? <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm getting how fast does your car need to be to outrun a cop? Hey, can you answer that for me? <laughs> Afraid. To <pick> on that. <laughs> yeah. It's a Quora. You've been added to a watch list. <laughs> okay. Okay, Quora. The answer is none because you can't outrun the radio. Oh, oh shit. I, think I have to type Sega here. Maybe that'll help. Not get watch listed. The Ferrari F40. There you go. Sweet. I thought it was Arari. The Arari are going to We're going to change the gender. Ferraro. <laughs> the cars have genders. <laughs> <laughs> now they do. <laughs> you call me girl a lot, right? Uh, okay, Bio Phoenix here. 
You think more Mario Kart racers should have the HUD world style similar to Diddy Kong racing? Well, it's just more kart racers. Yeah. Which I guess there aren't that many. I mean, there are a bunch of weird kart racers, but the only one that really matters is Mario Kart. There's a there's a ton, dude. There's a shit ton of kart racers. Yeah. <laughs> See, we matter. got Nickelodeon. We got Garfield. I think some uh, of those would lend themselves kitty. to it, like a Nickelodeon yeah. or a Mario. A Mario Kart that's open world seems like the only thing they can do with the series at this point because they you Mario want Kart race in Ryan's nope. house. Yeah, with Ryan, his mom, Ryan, his mom, See, dad. dad. Cra- Crash already does it. Not Mario, Ryan, racing with Ryan. Yeah. Who? Yeah, Ryan. 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 Who's Ryan? Remember Ryan? Yeah. He's still alive, I think. <laughs> he hasn't. What happened to Ryan? <laughs> Isn't he like thirteen by an hour or something? He's thirteen with bags under his eyes. Yeah, hey, certainly Google, healthy. How old? He's like today. I'm playing Ryan. with the shy guy toy. <laughs> 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 uh, this is me getting watch listed for a different reason. Eleven yeah. years old. Okay, that's close. Oh, yeah. I knew he'd been around for a minute. He just uh, looks tired. He's like a child that looks very tired. He's an old man in his young age. It's kind of sad. No, I, I think some of them should. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think some should. Mm-hmm. If you have the no, world I, to, to do it. I love that stuff. Any anything to add more single player content to a kart racer is an A OK for me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Last one coming from Mr. Tylord. Ooh. <laughs> what was that? Did Tyler give you indigestion? Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still reeling from him just posting a picture of James Bond on the, the motor. Sean thing. Connery. And just be like, huh? I'm like, <laughs> it's Sean he... Connery today. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't tempt him. He'll put Sean Connery in the comments for next for next episode for for Dude Month. I feel like you're tempting him. I feel like right now you're doing the tempting and you're trying to no. make it sound like it's not Who's, you. I'm I'm warning you. Who's the Terminator <laughs> kid? It's John Connor. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we can get John Connor next time. Wouldn't it be Joan Connor? <laughs> Joan Joanne. Connor. Joanne Connor. <laughs> Joan Connie. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne Canina. <laughs> All right, Q, best N64 racer. Sorry, N60. That, that was a stupid question. It's Mario Kart. Yeah. That's the Diddy only Kong answer. Racing. No, Diddy well, Kong Racing. No, I, it's Mario I would, Kart 64. I would, play, I would play Diddy Kong Racing <laughs> over Mario Kart 64 any fucking day of the week. You're a fool. Zero X. All day, oh, my day. God. I thought this was... Vehicles. I, as fuck. I thought this was a yeah. slam dunk. Mario Mario Kart 64 can eat my ass. Diddy Kong will. Racing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Listen, Samurai Goro's got the thickest ass here. What are you going to do about it? Can you go wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Samurai <laughs> Goro? Is that his name? Yeah. <laughs> That's the pink, the fire stingray. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. It's got a sting pink. when it goes in your ass. Real men drive pink vehicles. I'm saying, I can get especially for that. gender swap month, which is <laughs> every month. Oh, every month. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every month going forward is gender swap month. Just FYI. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's it for questions. Thanks, dude. Your ass. Yeah, sports. <laughs> My ass. Hey, sports, it's in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dudes. Malta, you fucked up, buddy. We are we are now stripping you of your title, Question Master. It's official. Wow. So we have our first ever uh, do you call, impeached president. Yeah, Question Master. He's, he's been impeached. Whoa. Wow. Well, hold on though. Impeachment means you're put on trial. It doesn't actually mean you're you've been we, kicked out. Oh, wow. So are what we, does he do? We I think we impeached him last month. Yeah, we did put him on trial already. He and, is impeached, the first ever. Yeah. He, and, he, and and now, ejected. now yes, now ejected. So it kinda in a, in a weird way, 
<laughs> Malta Master is actually kind of a revolutionary. Yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give him that satisfaction. He'll be like, let the revolution begin. I did it, dude. I started a revolution. I did it, dude. <laughs> Never before done. <laughs> <laughs> It is a very close between Malta Master and Donald Trump. <laughs> the accent is so you gotta. Oh be, yeah, it's close. You're just like teetering. You just gotta be very careful. <laughs> it was the best. I did. The, it was the best. It was the biggest. <laughs> I'm just imagine Donald Trump being like, <laughs> being like, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> you don't even know metal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know. I know all the metal. You don't know any metal. <laughs> but Are, members, there are a couple of cool dudes. They really yeah. like my show. <laughs> Voted for me in the election, so they get my seal of approval. You should go subscribe. <laughs> what a cool. So, uh, what is it, Donna? <laughs> Donna Trump. <laughs> Donna Tramp. <laughs> Donna Tramp. Thanks, Donna. Thank you, Donna. I was actually talking about Donald Trump yesterday because I was talking about if I ever made like a like a parody and didn't want to get sued, I would call him Toronto Dump. <laughs> Toronto <laughs> Dump. <laughs> Toronto Dump. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Well, are you guys ready to... We should have recorded this episode in our cars. <sighs> it would have been more apt. Late. Yeah. How about this? Does that work? Or I got Luigi too. Oh no, watch out, watch out! Think, get the monkey. Dead. Monkey. They're dead now. Okay, time to kill a ball. Uh. <laughs> I like that. Time to kill them all in quotes. And then, as said by Link from Legend of Zelda. First ever <laughs> confirmed dialogue. <laughs> oh, time to kill them all. Time to kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> With reference to the jungle monkey. <laughs> kill Link. I'm killing the animals. Sorry, Zelda. I'm sorry. This has to happen. <laughs> all right. Well. Going first. Who's that's first? it. That's 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 the show, right? Oh, it's been a good ride. One of these days, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna actually end the show after the questions. Do you remember uh, when we did Shadow the Colossus, and we told <laughs> Daniel <laughs> the, the intermission? <laughs> yeah, it was the intermission. He actually, and he, yeah, he actually he, got up and left. <laughs> yeah, he went to like, the bathroom or something. <laughs> we're just like, uh. <laughs> should, that should be a rule to do that to all future guests. Yeah. Yeah. Tr well, try guys. to trick him with an intermission. <laughs> it should happen in the game talk anyway. Yeah, we should, we should, we should like, you'll, so you'll do it, Alex, where you'll be like, and that's it for game well, talk. Yeah. And then yeah. we just wait to see if the, the guy, because I can edit it out if we want, but yeah. we can wait just to see <laughs> if he just takes off. He's like, all right, thanks. Well, it's been. He changed his voice. Yeah, it's like, it was a great time, guys. It really it's had a right, yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. It's been fun. Uh, you know, if you guys ever want to have me on again, it's like, yeah. it just, it just signs off. Yeah, and we're just yeah. like, Joe's still going. <laughs> yeah. He fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> it's you game, don't talk. game talks. Come on. I sent you a playlist. <laughs> where we talk about, no, dude, that happens where we have guests on where it's like, I, I'm like, we'll invite somebody that hasn't been part of the community or something and be like here's the game talk here's what it is watch this episode if you want reference okay and then, and then when they come on they clearly did not watch it <laughs> yeah what? or I they're brian episode. a game <laughs> or they're brian where we're like yeah we're asking a question about an xbox and he's like my game is castlevania for the xbox and we're like brian it's not time for, it's not yeah. time for the games i remember that, that was so funny <laughs> <laughs> he's well, I actually have yeah, multiple you... cartoon games to pick from today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's old. <laughs> you gotta give him the pass. He's old. He's been on, on three game talks. He still doesn't know how it works. So yeah, give him a pass. No, he's been on like has he been on three or four? I'm trying to remember. 
Well, he's a, I think he's, he's been a, on four. No, he's been on four game talks. He doesn't know how it works. <laughs> he's, a, he's a delight to have. Yeah, but he, he doesn't. Um, he never quite got it. Well, we'll see. Maybe next, the fifth time is the charm. He'll be fifth right. time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get it one of these days, Brian. <laughs> Did he try to like segue one of the, the questions into his game talk? It was yeah. like he was like, Yeah, that reminds me of this game. I that's actually my game talk. And he and he started like talking like we're just gonna sit in there like no. <laughs> you delightful old Classic, man. You gotta love it. Classic Brian. Well, this is game talk where we talk about games. Hence the name Game Talk. Who would have thought? That's that's the name. It's Motor Month, so uh, our games have to be related to motors in some way, shape, or form. That's right. Who's, who's going first? I can do it if you want. What if I don't want? Well, that's, I'm putting it up to you guys. If you, if you don't want it, send it, <laughs> send it right back. I mean, come on. <laughs> nah, Spencer can go ahead. I'm sure you played a good <laughs> game. Yeah, I played a really good game. Can't uh, wait to hear about this game for Game Talk. Yeah, what game did you play, Spencer? So my game was Twisted Metal, the TV show. Oh, say, how did I play? It was I didn't play it. I watched it. <laughs> oh shit! He reviewed it. Didn't play the game. He Come played on. the. He played the Paramount app or whatever the hell this is on. <laughs> uh, Peacock. Peacock. What the fuck? The Peacock app. <laughs> That's the NBC's thing. Uh, a bird with feathers. That's that's, you know? that's the Office app. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one that yeah. shows the Office. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only. That's the only My thing golf that channel. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, I think I talked about this in maybe one of the other episodes briefly, um, but I did end up finishing Twisted Metal. If you're not familiar with Twisted Metal, it was a PS1 game that took the world by storm. It said, "Let's bring a bunch of cars in, but instead of racing them." We'll just have them destroy each other with rockets and machine guns and special moves. And it had all these crazy characters, most notably Sweet Tooth. He became uh, basically the mascot of the series. He's a clown that drives an ice cream truck, and he's just weird. Uh, Twisted Metal, you know, you'd think you would hear that. It's a competition game where they just try to compete and. Each character has their own little stories where they're almost like, a, I guess, a very twisted um, Twilight Zone almost story where they get what they asked for, but in a weird way that they didn't expect. And, you know, the world laughs at them, I guess. Um, it, you'd see it, you say, like, that's a weird w- thing to try to make a TV show out of, especially like 30 years after it came out. Um, but they did. And here we are. Uh, it's starring Anthony Mackie, who was in the uh, uh, he was in the Marvel movies, so he's a pretty big name. Oh, is he, is he Fa- uh, Falcon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who's doing his best Will Smith impression the entire show? And then <laughs> there's keep uh, your wife, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Yeah, is that what he said? <laughs> That's what he said. He said that in every episode. It was. <laughs> It's disconcerting, really. Uh, and then it was Rosa from Brooklyn Nine Nine, which I'm a big fan of. The first for most of that show, except for the last two seasons, it really just fell off the rails. But um, but like that show. And then it's in a bizarre casting choice. Um, wrestler Samoa Joe plays Sweet Tooth, but does not voice him. For Sweet Tooth is voiced by Will Arnett, which. As much as I love Will Arnett, and I'm a huge fan of um, Arrested Development specifically, uh, but also a movie called Brothers Solomon, which I think everyone should check out if they haven't seen it. It's an awesome movie. Um, Directed by uh, star of Better Call Saul. I can't remember. I always forget his name. Bob Odenkirk. Bob Odenkirk, yeah. He directed it, and he's in it. Great, great movie. Uh, But anyway... um, it's a little bit weird to have Will Arnett do the voice of Sweet Tooth. It just doesn't, to me, it doesn't quite work. Um, but uh, it's the story of Anthony Mackey uh, on his quest to go from San Francisco to Chicago in a post-apocalyptic world where most of everything was destroyed in some eluded terrorist attacks. 
um, which doesn't say who did it. It just says they're generic terrorist attacks. It constantly goes from back then to now. Um, and so the, the music is heavily 90s inspired, which I like because I'm a 90s guy. But I think it also kind of... I've seen a, a couple shows do this now where they, they took the Guardians of the Galaxy strategy of having a soundtrack, like a movie that's based off of a time period soundtrack, and they like that's just the music of the show. And um, I think it was novel when Guardians did it, and then it kind of became its thing. And other shows doing it just kind of seems like a ripoff. As, as much as I love the 90s and the music that came from it, I, it's just kind of like eye-rolling to hear at this point. Um, this is actually the second show I've seen that that does that. Um, so it's it's kind of annoying. Um, the show itself is a tonal mess. Uh, it's generally pretty goofy. Like I would say about 60% of the show is like what you would kind of expect from a show called Twisted Metal based off of a 90s game about car crashes. It's like a, it's jokey. It's like edge lordy and like, oh, I blew this guy up. Isn't that funny? And it's, you know, kind of. Um, but there's a lot of moments of sincerity in it, specifically with Rosa. The I don't know her name, but the lady, um, the Rosa, I'll just call her Rosa character, um, where she's basically crying throughout the entire show. Uh, either she's about to cry or she is crying. And she's not the greatest actress. So. I don't really understand that part of it. And it's really just kind of confusing because it shifts from like being really jokey with Sweet Tooth, who's just a, just a balls of the wall weird character, to like very emotional scenes that they're trying to do. And I really don't think the emotional scenes landed. I think they really should have just leaned straight into the absurd and would have gotten a lot better results out of it. Um, there's a lot of little references to Twisted Metal 1 in it. Um, so you have to just kind of look for it. I guess that should be expected in a show about that. Uh, and it finally, I mean, if you're really looking for Twisted Metal, you just have to wait till the end, which is unfortunate. Because throughout, there's just a lot of, there, there's cars and stuff, but there's not really enough car battling to where you would think it was Twisted Metal. Until the very end, and then you're like, oh, okay, I get it. And the end leads to a sequel, you know, series or maybe just season two, whatever, where it's more what you're expecting. So this would be like, you would actually see this almost as a prequel to Twisted Metal. You could almost look at it that way. So I don't think it was very good. Um, positives. Some of the visuals were kind of cool. Um, I really like the villain. Oh, God, I'm so fucking bad at Hollywood names. Um, but the, the villain is a cop and he did fantastic. He was really, really interesting. Um, everybody else, Anthony Mackie was okay. Again, it just seemed like he was playing Will Smith in like men in black. So <laughs> it, just take that what you will. Like I, 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 I like men in black and I like that character and I like, um, I think he did okay, but it just, the whole time I was watching, it was like, I wish they would have just got Will Smith cause he was, he's just a lot more charismatic. Um, but yeah, overall, I just didn't really like it very much. I would have to give it, if I had to give it a letter grade, like a C. It sounds confused. Almost. It very, um, yes. I, I do have to, didn't like the old Twisted, like the, like the PS1 games use like Rob Zombie and stuff? Like music? So like, wouldn't that kind of fit the... Yeah, I didn't play a ton of the first Twisted Metal, but the, subsequently, yeah, they used a lot of the metal style music. Yeah, yeah, so I was thinking like 90s, like that style of 90s music might, might work, you know? Yeah, they didn't really do that. They did most like regular 90s music, just like all over the place. You're fucking third eye blind. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's charm life's playing while you're driving around. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah, much. It's, it's like totally. Very, I don't, I don't understand. But the, that, that fucking um, Mortal Kombat movie that came out a few years ago also did this. I don't understand the idea of taking a property about tournaments and making a movie adaptation or a show adaptation that isn't about a goddamn tournament because it seemed like the easiest thing to do <laughs> because i mean all you have to do is be like calypso's making a tournament about cars and they're fighting each other that's the show why do you need like a fucking other yeah. thing <laughs> this guy was in the the 
first Marvel like chronological thing that I really did not give a shit about was the the Winter Soldier. I did okay. like an episode yeah. of that. Um, I just feel like he's got like sidekick syndrome, you know? Yeah, yeah. He just doesn't have quite the charisma to lead anything. He's 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 cool. Like he seems cool, but like not leading man cool. Mm-hmm. But the problem is now he's like kind of typecast as a sidekick because mm. of Captain America movies. Yeah, that could be it. He needs some kind of role to break him out of that. Can't see like modern Will Smith, but I then again, I'm not a I'm not twisted metal guy, so I don't you know, I can't speak to it. Would you prefer this as a movie? <laughs> um Yeah, I guess I probably would have. Yeah. I would have preferred it as more of a tight two hour experience than a, a, a season of episodes. Could have cut a lot of the, the crappy characters out. There are many. <laughs> I, I think the idea of like like the you said there's moments of sincerity to me that sounds like the opposite of what I want from a twisted metal show because twisted metal is hokey and stupid and I don't want a show to be hokey and stupid <laughs> you know like the 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 funny aspects I th- I, I think would would suit it a lot better because it's twisted metal <laughs> there I'll I'll say one that doesn't I don't know I it it it's not super spoilerific okay. So I'll say this. There's one moment where they really captured what I think they were trying to go for. Mm. Um, an old woman um, was dying. And she eventually does die. And she was like a big trucker person. So they put her on like a mini wheelchair that was shaped like a truck. And then they just dropped her off the back of it. And she was just like spun out onto like a freeway. And they were like, it was like a sad, like, okay, you, you did your thing. <laughs> and they're like, oh, that was sweet. And then she blew up. Like, she expl- they put explosives on her and she exploded. <laughs> like, that was, like, perfect. Like, okay, great. Like, that's good. But there, but that was, like, a that was the rare one. All, most oh, of the, okay. the moments were not that. They were, like, very, like, uh, emotional, like, powerful, at least trying to be scenes of, of sadness and, and loss. And then, and it was just, it was very... Like, how do you put those two things in the same show? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like they're trying to make The Last of Us out of Twisted Metal, but the Twisted, Me- Twisted Metal is fucking the insanity. You know, right, like, that's right. the point. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's just insane shit. <laughs> it's like, nobody wants sincerity out of Twisted Metal. Yeah. Like, do you call it I an s- insane posse of clowns? You could. There is a clown. There is a clown. Um, and, and he had a posse. Wow. There you go. So it was the insane clown posse. I see. see? Get at your fa- get your fago. TP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just I don't know. It sounds like I'm probably not gonna watch it because I don't want that. But I don't know how you why I don't know why this this even has to exist. <laughs> the show's not relevant. <laughs> I mean, the game's not relevant. Right. I wonder if there's gonna be a twist of metal or something. Like, I don't, uh, like, like a PS5 one or something? Yeah, I don't know. Um, it seems weird. It's That seems... Even right now, that seems out of Sony's wheelhouse. I mean, what are you going to do? Make it a fucking over-the-shoulder game? Yeah, over-the-shoulder. Where, where, where you transport a young character across the world? Because that's all they fucking do now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do that with the... Twisted Metal is back with a narrative you've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I want to see the fucking Twisted Metal Black where the preacher guy, like, drowned a baby. <laughs> it's like, that's... That's the shit I want to see. It's fucked yes. up and twisted. That's twisted metal. Not this. Yeah, it was. It was what, what's a better name for this? Average. No, not twisted. Um, average music. Straight. Straight country. Straight country. <laughs> it's like stadium country, you know. Like that, like garbage stadium country music. <laughs> It's like written for like the lowest common denominator by a dude who would never visit those towns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Garth Brookville. <laughs> Garth Brookville. Garth Brooks is a. Uh, have you seen his Facebook post? 
like where you just talking... heard about them oh my no. god videos or something Fucking... the vlog. what is it dude there's a video of garth brooks where he's in like a hotel room i'll send it to you guys after it is I've seen it. It's it's funny. It's fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll I just found this to your Facebook. Yeah, I he think goes I like it. I, yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> so he goes like he's like, uh, we get to have conversations uh, between you and me, and I like that. <laughs> and he goes, uh, and he goes like, and he, these conversations get personal. And uh, we really learn about each other intimately. And I really like that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. That's, that's funny. Way you better. Garth Brooks would have made this show better. <laughs> yeah, he would have made the show infinitely better. He should have been twist, uh, I, Sweet Tooth. I don't know how the hell you make a Twisted Metal show and you don't have grunge and metal as like the, the soundtrack. That should have literally been the only thing playing yeah. the entire time. That's that's like what I think when I think twisted metal. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the new Hollywood boys. <clears throat> they don't get it. They just don't get it. They thought the metal was the cars, you know. Leave the metal to the cars. <laughs> Parents just don't understand. Was that a fucking Will Smith song? <laughs> right? It's like a yeah. really early Will Smith song. <laughs> yeah. The the Mackie remix. There you go. Yeah. Millennials just don't understand. Keep my wife's <laughs> name at your fucking mouth. <laughs> like uh, 2013 YouTube <laughs> Rewind Will Smith. Ah! It's hot. I don't know. Chris, Chris Rock smacking Will Smith pretty good. <laughs> Will Smith looking through a telescope at the moon and going, that's hot. <laughs> I gotta say, though, like, Men in Black Will Smith is fucking amazing. Yeah. Like Men in Black was a badass movie. That's the last thing I cared about Will Smith in. Hancock, maybe? Oh, God. That's, am, yeah, even that's... Or uh, right. I, Robot, right? I am... Is so, with him and the kid, his son? No, I know. I Am Legend's probably the last... Oh, uh, The Pursuit of Happiness. Yeah. He's like that one. one. I Am Legend's probably the last movie I cared about with him. Yeah. Robot was also good. Yeah, I, Robot. Decent run, yeah, amazing. Will Smith gets a D for decent. <laughs> <laughs> Smith gets a D, gets the D, the D more like it, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Great. Spencer, for doing the deed. Thanks for playing a game for your am talk. Yep, I, I played it's for uh, twisting good. this metal right here. I, did I you am... at least watch it on a game console? No, I did not. No. Did you watch it on a yeah. literal peacock? Did you get, like, a <laughs> I watched stick it on a peacock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I shoved the TV up a peacock's ass and then I started watching it. EA. Um, I'm, birds. I'm very curious what Teddy's is, so I actually want to make Teddy's the main event. So I am going to... I think people I'm need to... Laugh. I think people want to stay for Teddy's. I think I'm because he's he's put a couple rules out there, which is kind of he funny. put one rule. So I want I want to see what that is. You you have to stay and see what that rule. He is. He put literally one rule. He How's put a, a couple rules. He put a series. First of, rule of game talk is don't talk about game talk. There you go. He's put, that's go, the yeah. second rules. He's put a series of rules now. So oh, stop. I want right, to see. I guess now I did two rules. I want to see what that is. So the We're viewers want want the enforcer rule enforcer break. T- tell him. The, the 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 dismissed the viewers will delete. have to stay. Delete, <laughs> delete, <laughs> delete. The viewers will we'll delete we'll delete mine just like we did the last game talk. We had to delete mine out of the game. Talk. Yeah, delete. yeah. Please go watch Spencer's left. Uh, what is it? Dead Rising Island. Dead, uh, Dead Island. Too. Dead Island yeah. too. Yeah, go watch his review. It wasn't in the game talk, so it's, you missed it's it. It's rare. It's rare footage, never before seen. Yeah, um, and if so you did see it, somebody else was talking over it. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna send it over to Alex to have him do his. It'll be, he won't be last for once. All right, guys. I had a couple of rules with mine. Excellent. Um, I asked you all to grab something. Can you can you grab that thing, please? Thank you. Uh, 
my game. <laughs> my game for Game Talk. Um, this is actually very tough for me to choose. I, I, I bounce between like five different choices for this because I really like I like racing games and stuff. I like motors. I like motors. Um, and I couldn't choose with a play for this. And then I finally settled on something sentimental and something Spencer, of all people, would appreciate. Um, so whenever I was a kid, a little babby, my first console was a Sega Game Gear. Yay. Spencer, go ahead and exhale. Get it over with. Okay. Now, um, one of the uh, things I used to do as a kid, it was that before my, I was in school, my mom couldn't afford a daycare, and she worked at a, a consignment shop. So she would take me with her. And I would sit in the back of this consignment shop and play my Game Gear. I had a bunch of games of Game Gear. One of those games is a game I'm going to talk about today. It is Sonic Drift 2, which I'm holding this copy of. I didn't play it on Game Gear, though. I have it on 3DS. Um, Sonic Drift 2 is a game... But you play a Sonic and you drift, and it's the second time we're doing it. <laughs> Oddly enough, Sonic Drift One was not uh, released in the in anywhere but Japan for some reason. Uh, but we got Sonic Drift Two, which is very strange that we got the second one. Just called the second one. I bet a lot of people were confused and probably looked for the first one and couldn't find it. It's a kart racer for the Sega Game Gear. That's actually pretty fun. Um, it's it's a bit of a divisive game amongst the Sonic fan base. I feel like now it's it's it's, it's less divisive, but it's like one of the early examples of people being like, "Well, that game's not very good." Well, I like it. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it's a kart racer game that's in the style of old Sega racing games like Outrun, but you play as the Sonic cast. You have a bunch of different characters to play as in this game. You can play as Sonic, Tails, Amy, um, Knuckles, uh, Fang the Sniper, Spencer's favorite uh, Sonic character, Fang the Sniper, Metal Sonic, and not Dr. Robotnik, but Eggman. This is actually the first game where uh, that I know of where he was known as Eggman. So take that, oh. everybody. <laughs> he is Eggman. Um, it's a kart racer that takes place through the different areas from Sonic games and some new original stages. I have played the first Sonic Drift. That game only pulls like stage themes from Sonic 1. This one has stage themes from Sonic 2 and a bunch of original stage themes. Um, what's cool about this game is that it is like a behind-the-view old-school racer, sort of like OutRun, but there's it's accompanied by a map above the the screen, so you you'll be able to see when turns are coming up, see places of other racers, and sort of get more of a lay of the land, so things don't feel as random as they do with like those old school racing games. Being on the Game Gear, it is limited, especially with the draw distance, so that is a good choice to have the map above the playfield, so you can see. Um, I, I think that's the only way a kart racer would work on this, you know, eight bit hardware like that. Um, you do have items. Um, the Game Gear, only, I should have grabbed my Game Gear. It only has two buttons in the D-pad. So, you know, uh, one's go, one's break. So how do you use the items? We use the items by pushing up on the D-pad, which is very strange at first, but it's pretty easy to get used to. Very, very fun game. Has like three Grand Prix to play through. Uh, you also could, could do multiplayer. Um, I really like the, the, the character sprites and artwork in this game. Um, you can collect rings, which I, th I think rings, uh, what do rings do? Rings help you unlock your special ability. That, that, that's right. I have an item list right up here. You have a dash item. You have a jump item. You, you, you can drop mines. You get an, an invincibility item. There's springs you can hit. Um, there's a reverse thing you drop, which fucks up the player's controls for a second. Um, yeah. It's a Sonic racing game for the Game Gear where the characters are in cars. I played as Metal Sonic. Apparently, he's the worst one. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> he, he I'm looking now. He apparently has the, has the worst handling. Uh, it's, it's very low handling. But uh, Metal Sonic's my favorite, so I played as him. So Sonic Drift 2 is the most divisive game in the Sonic series. It's an early <laughs> example. You put 30 hours into this, right? Yeah, you put 30 hours into it, right? I did. Like, like, okay, so, so Sonic, whenever I, I think of games being divisive within the Sonic fan base, I think of, like, 
more of like Dreamcast and up, right? But really, I mean, there was earlier examples like the Game Gear titles that were, you know, divisive amongst the fan base, which just proves how how fucked up the series has been from the start. <laughs> so. Um, I do have some courses here, and there's like courses from Sonic, uh, like themes from Sonic 2, like Emerald Hill, Hilltop, there's a Casino Night, Mystic Cave, Death Egg, um, a bunch of different uh, things, but there's, but, but there's also original ones, like Dark Valley, which was really cool, it was like, um, most courses you can go off course, this one was a sprint, there wasn't like, a, like, like an actual loop, it was just start at one end, get to the other, and there was um, no, there was like, it was like a wall, so if you fall off either side of the course, you just fall directly down and have to reset. So that was a fun challenge. Um, and I, I like the fact that, that there is like a number of uh, variety within the course's uh, selection. GameSpot described it as basically unplayable because of poor handling and a really short horizon. That's what the map's for. <laughs> I watched l- last night. I wanted to get a feel for like what the common consensus is for this game because I got, I like it, and I watched it like read and watched a bunch of different reviews online. And yeah, it's either people being like this is pretty fun or being like this is unplayable. <laughs> uh, have... How would you compare this to like what other racers would you compare it to? Games like Outrun and Hang On, that sort of the stuff. Really? But like, Does it but like with I is... but. Yeah, yeah it, it, it looks fine, and it, like, but like, it has like an item system, like a kart racer. So there is like a kart racing element to it. So is it flat? Like the, the yeah, courses. It's, yeah, it's flat. That that's why the um the map's necessary because it's flat, and with the Game Gear, you know, it's it's an eight bit console, so the draw distance isn't really that great. But if you watch the map, of, you know, that's like right above the play field, you can see when the turns are coming up, which really helps. <laughs> I have some trivia. Yeah, I have the. Okay, go ahead. Sonic Drift Two is the first game to feature Metal Sonic and Fang the Sniper as playable characters. Yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> and you're right. Uh-huh. The game is the. This is the first time Doctor Robotnik was referred to as Eggman outside of Eggman Japan. in '95. So he's been Eggman all this time. <laughs> hey, so this the 3DS shop is down. So how do you experience this gem of a of a Sonic game today? <laughs> I don't know, emulator to some shit, buy it. I mean, your game gear is not expensive. Emulate it. I did play it on my th- on my 3DS for ease of access because I had it on there. But... Is it not on any of the collections? Oh, shit. It, I, you know what? I think it did just get a release with the Origins Plus that came out. Oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't have that. But I know they added a shit ton of game gear games into okay. it. So well, actually, according, um, to the, according to the... Yes, so, it is on Origins Plus. Okay, there you go. And the, the Sonic fandom needs to update their 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 thing on here because it doesn't. <laughs> do it, fans. It says Game Gear and 3DS, and then Game Tap. Yeah. What was Game Tap? I have. I don't know. Anyway. What Game Fly? Find that. Find that out, Spencer. <laughs> while I I say this, um, no, I'm looking at the re-releases for the Sonic Drift 2 page here, and it was on Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. So if you have that, you can play it. Sonic Gems Collection and GameCube. You have that. Um, some PS2 one. I think it was. It was Japan only. Um, the 3DS got a re-release, and then recently, yeah, it was it was included on Sonic Origins Plus for all modern consoles. So, if you have that, you can also play it. Game, what Tap was game Tap was an online video game service established by Turner Broadcast System in 2006. It provided users with classic arcade video games and game-related video content. The service was acquired by French online video game service Metaboli in 2008. So they were trying to do the subscription service, but like way back in 2006. It's kind of interesting. Pretty neat. It's not around. It remained active until 2015. So yeah, this is between Sonic, Sonic 2 and 3. So there's a bunch of different like trivia here like the invisibility music from sonic 3 which wasn't out yet uh boss music there's like some boss music from sonic 3 and knuckles wasn't out yet bang the sniper is from sonic triple trouble which i think just came out before this and he was not a character they used <laughs> after that i you know actually they're 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 using him in that new one that like new superstars 2d game fang the sniper's back so spencer celebrate your 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 guy's back fang the sniper 
I don't like give two shits about Fang the Sniper. You are a Fang, Fang the Sniper stan. When I When I played Sonic on Game Boy Advance, I played as Amy. Well, she is here. She's wearing... Uh, she's Her shirt is colored blue due to palette limitations. What does it wow. mean? I don't know. What does it mean? <laughs> Due to limitations, Knuckles and Metal Sonic's names are spelt. But Metal Sonic isn't bad. It, it, it's just M. Sonic, which makes sense for like an abbreviation. Knuckles, they, they just removed the K. <laughs> it's K, the way everyone wanted the K's. <laughs> yeah, that's like the after the C's. So it's still Knuckles. Knuckles. <laughs> Knuckles. <laughs> it's, it's just spelled wrong. <laughs> I like Knuckles. Um. Yeah, I, I, I think this game. I think this game's ambitious for the Game Gear, uh, and it is pretty fun. I I like it. it. Has a lot of courses. You can't go wrong. It's a racing game. I think there should be an HD remake for Sonic Drift Two. Are you are you are you proposing the uh, Kickstarter right now? The crowdfunding for it, Spencer. I'm proud to announce that yes, I am starting a <laughs> Kickstarter for. Sonic Drift yeah, 2. Spen- Spencer, you know those cheesy-ass uh, Kickstarter campaign videos? Can you do one of those right now for Sonic Drift 2? I've never seen one, but I can do one for you right now if you'd like. Okay, here we go. Got the I'll cheese. Hold up the game. All right. I'll hold up the game. Are Sorry. you a fan of, of uh, Sonic Drift 2 but want to find a better way to play it? The Game Gear is not ideal. The 3DS is not ideal. The new way that Alex said a couple minutes ago, not ideal. We need a brand new version up to date HD full from the ground up remake things that will be improved knuckles will be spelled knuckles. correctly metal okay. sonic <laughs> will be spelled entirely eggman Man. will be changed back to dr robotnik as was Doctorate. always intended like Fit- this degree yes um the music will stay the same in fact will probably be removed actually uh, maybe some licensing issues Yes, Amy's shirt will not be blue, but will also not be pink. It will be somewhere in between. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, I don't know, light reddish pink. Yeah, something like that. Despite, uh, let's see, we're also changing the name to Sonic Drift 2 T-O-O because it's just more, uh, it's also Sonic Drift. Like as well. Yeah, so those uh, and more will be in the new version if only I can raise about um, five million dollars, then I can make it happen. Stretch goal, tails gender confirmation. Is he a boy? <laughs> Find out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pay me now. How many? How many game talks do you think it's going to take before I cover every obscure ass handheld Sonic game? I don't know. I keep looking forward to each one, so I don't. You have to <laughs> I know. Keep surprising me. I know. I know these are your favorite when I, when I do these. Yeah. I just think of how, how how many people are probably googling uh, g- obscure Game Gear Sonic games. Mm. I'm just excited, <laughs> excited to join me. <laughs> join me for Dude Month, where I'm going to play Sonic Labyrinth. Oh uh, no! I almost <laughs> played that as a joke for the Sonic Month yeah. forever ago. It's not Sonic the Fighters, <laughs> Sonic fights dudes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Sonic versus the dudes. Sonic Triple Trouble has three dudes. Oh. So the the, the four person one? Heroes? Here no, Heroes is three. Sonic Quadra Combat. Or three people. But yeah, there you go. Three dudes linked together. Like the human centipede but with hedgehogs. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was that was <laughs> that was Hedgehog my game. Centipede. It's short but sweet. I, I went into my um because I don't have my game gear out because I I dude I have two game gears and they're both fucking broken because the 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 capacitors need to be recapped because they're old as fuck and they die. Um so I have all my games. They were like out in my storage area. So before this episode today, I I literally went out, dug through my storage just to find my bag of game gear games, just to find this cartridge. A man a man burned and twice by Sega hardware and still is a <laughs> Sega diehard fan. It's incredible. It's amazing. You should be yeah, proud. This man a trophy. That's my first console, man. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, Teddy, I know I just took your game talk game, so what to end the show? Well, yeah. Well, you know what? It's okay because I have a replacement. Excellent. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah. Um, before I do, we did have a little stipulation here. So, lads, bust out your cool retro sunglasses. Take a ride with me back to the 80s. Play an 80s overdrive. 80s Overdrive is a throwback. You guessed it. A lot of the old heads generation of choice on before the 90s. The 80s lets you drive in really cool cars and outrun the cops. Why did I choose the word outrun? Because this is a throwback to outrun. Those who don't know, outrun is a series where you outrun other vehicles in a race to the finish. But you should chill and enjoy the ride and enjoy the scenes. We got tropics on one side, mountains on the other. What? You want to see both? Well, have no fear, because you can drive on either side. And this game has very much the same style, except more and expanded. You get to drive stellar vehicles like the Testosterondo or a couple other cool 80s throwbacks. The paint jobs are limited to 80s colors only. Retro pink, retro red, retro blue, retro yellow, and then baby blue. All of the character options are cool images that look like comic book style, and they incorporate all the races, excluding, no, including Ginger. I personally picked the one that looked like Kurt Russell with a white hair. Super stellar. The game has a career mode, a time attack mode, and a level editor. My time went into the career mode. I really liked it because you get to purchase all the vehicles, upgrade the engines, the steering, the bumpers, and the way it works is you have to pay to enter the races and earn more money to keep upgrading your cars. There's approximately 36 levels and they all ramp up in difficulty and the way that the levels work is in addition to the themes being different, you also race either longer, shorter, or medium-sized courses. There may be higher traffic volumes, and there might also be police, in addition to the other racers on the track. And as you get further into the career mode, the difficulty for the other combatants is increased. Your cars have health, so you do have to be mindful not to wreck the vehicle. Uh, I didn't personally wreck any vehicles, but after the races, you have to repair and refuel them. So you have to be mindful about how much money you have, especially going into future races. It's never too much of an ordeal, although um, you may be tempted to up upgrade something like the engine all the way, but you definitely need to have enough uh, money in reserve. Goal is to be the victor of the leaderboards, to get to number one on the charts. And there's a lot of really cool environments. And I just had a blast playing through this. The sprite scaling was beautiful. I love the jukebox feature. It sounded like they brought a bunch of indie artists in, someone called Vector Wolf. That's the only one I remember. Something I had another one. It was like Angst 247 or something. It sounds like a Blink-182. I don't know. Um, and you can also put a nitro on your uh, car and also radar. A couple of things I thought maybe weren't as impressive. Uh, I think it was a little formulaic with running from the cops. They made it a little too easy. Basically, uh, anytime you pass the cop, the cops would start chasing you, but they'd never chase your opponents. Um, and what you'd have to do is you'd see the sirens behind you and then you drive to the side, they pass you and then you just they try and stop in front of you. You don't let the you don't let the cops stop you. You got to keep going. Um, there are some crashes if you're if you're not careful. If you look away for a second, that's kind of how Outrun worked. You just crash into a tree or something, and then uh, it would cost you a lot because you'd have to respawn and also do a number on your vehicle. Um, but I I didn't really experience that too much. The game does have an epic final boss. I wasn't expecting that. And uh, it was actually one of the most challenging bosses I've faced in a while. And uh, so shout outs to uh, Bob209. Uh, 80s Overdrive is a classic throwback to not only 80s racers, but the 80s as a whole. And there's a lot of fun to be had in it today. 
So, lads, I leave you with 80s Overdrive. I do have this one. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> but I, I would should... like to. I, I do want to say, if you like this game, which I did a... I, th- I think I have a thought of on the, on the, on the Switch Void. You should play Slip, uh, Slipstream. That, that, that's another one that's inspired by like that style of game. It's really good. Yeah, I've seen footage of the Slipstream. I watched somebody's review. Um, it looks good. Spencer's doing his research. Yeah. He's the facts guy, after all. This is true. Did you mess around the facts? Did you, did you mess around with the track editor at all? No. Apparently, you can share it with friends. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you can send them a code or something after you make it. Hmm. That's cool. Time Attack is pretty cool, though it's a bit long. That one's more traditional outrun style, but um, lasts kind of a long time. Uh, I really like the jukebox, though. I think that was one of my highlights, and uh, just going through all the tracks, finding some of my favorites. Oh, another complaint was um, all of the vehicles except for the final one um which is a special unlock once you upgrade them all control exactly the same have the same max velocity um same steering abilities so even though like the the aesthetic of the cars was you know cool and you get to kind of pick your own um i think i would have preferred if like the more expensive cars to unlock had a little more um like Utility, I guess. What did you play this on? Uh, I played on Xbox. On sale, but I think it's on everything. Yeah, it looks like it's on Steam and Nintendo, too. Yeah, I think I have it on the Switch. This watch. Oh, it's even on 3DS. Not anymore, bitches! It's digital only, so I don't think you can... Maybe you can, but unless your dad's Reggie Fizeme, unless your dad has a hot tub time well, machine. Well, you're both in luck. Because your dad's Reggie Fizeme, and he has a hot tub time machine. I I I fit both of those criteria. It's <laughs> really something <laughs> you wouldn't think it's Papa possible. Papa Reggie Papa Reggie. Can you turn the 3DS servers back on for me? <laughs> so I can, so I can download 80s Overdrive. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. <laughs> he's, in a, he's in his time machine. He's like, no problem. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> he's like shirtless with a martini. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. It looks gorgeous. Good for it. it it's, it's got very like its graphics just pop. Yeah, that was that was really the I think the highlight for me is that it was just a visual like visually stunning. You know, it's not the first of its kind to do this, but. And like I think that like the the techno soundtrack is pretty fitting too for experience. Is there enough content here for like to keep it coming back? I one hundred percent of the game in one day. So no. Um, <laughs> so after today, no, absolutely not. Um, but I, the four hours I put in were well spent. Um, one thing I didn't like actually though was um throw missions at you and going into every stage and you know every stage is going to take like one to three minutes depending on the length um with the exception of the final one so 36 stages and you got to win them all you know that's a decent chunk of time but the missions if you skip it if you decline to do the mission you can't go back and do it later the missions could be annoying they would prevent you from like winning the track like uh, one would be like take tenth place deliberately because we want our team to win or something, or wreck this guy's vehicle. And it's like I don't want to wreck his vehicle because I don't want to have to repair mine. You know, put a lot of money into it. Um, so I think if I knew that they weren't going to come back later, I would have played it a little bit differently. Hmm. But I had a great time. Now time for. Now. For '90s Overdrive, <laughs> ooh, that would be cool. What would '90s Overdrive be? 
Um, bombs, soccer bombs. Ooh. Can you take it? <laughs> Driving uh, ten miles per hour over speed limit. Dude, yeah. While I'm eating a pack of gushers in the backseat. Driving kids, yeah. It's, a, it's all soccer vans, yeah. That's it. I want it. I want the freaking twenties overdrive. Nineteen twenties. Yes. Nineteen twenties overdrive. <laughs> Driving through the Great Depression. I have a little game for you. It's called L A L A Noir. <laughs> noir. Yeah, Noir. <laughs> What's the old one? Dude. It's the new one. This is we're like we're old R. Yeah. <laughs> noir. Oh, really old R. Give me your finest R. <laughs> Age to perfection. We did it. We did motor mode. I, I have a feeling that nobody's going to be satisfied with our picks for this episode. What are you talking about? I feel like everybody's going to be like, why? Alex, you picked a Game Gear gem. One okay, that well, I've never me, ex- me excluded. I've never not heard people talk about Game Gear games. Like that's literally the only thing the internet is at this point. It's true. It's they might true. as well rename it to like Game Gear Hub or something. Game I'll, God. Game God. All I ever <laughs> hear about is Game Gear. Game Gear this, Game Gear that, Game Gear th- like every Game Gear game immediately explodes on YouTube. It's like the number one if I go on YouTube right now. And I just look at number one videos. I guarantee you, nine out of eight of them are going to be Game Gear games. Oh, that's good. That's a good stat. I want those stats. And Spencer, I mean, Spencer, I can... to your credit too. Like, you know, not everyone is coming into the gaming scene talking about Peacock, right? You know, like uh, some might say that's Peacock and Bali, but I think that they're full of shit. <laughs> I don't think they know what's up. <laughs> think that they need to try twisting their metal in the yeah. right direction which is what you did today and so Art. like that's uh, that's that is 10 out 10 out of nine satisfaction i like that a lot aren't all cocks like Garth peacocks brooks. brooks likes it aren't, aren't, don't, don't, don't pee come out of all cocks Dude. actually if you say something nice about me in 80s overdrive oh yeah uh everybody was expecting no everybody loves 80s style racers our audience and uh, especially so i feel like they're gonna really love your choice today thank you thank you to the old heads out there from the 80s <laughs> listening now living vicariously through my pick this one's for you baby <laughs> and we got the shades <laughs> on spencer i just want to say i could not only could i hear it i could feel it i could taste the sarcasm coming from your comments in the video. Oh. <laughs> and, I, and, uh, and i just want you to know that that wow. is not going to dissuade me if Alex... only if anything that is, that is encouraging me to do more game gear games alex is he's not going to be fooled i thought you were but alex <laughs> alex is not going to be fooled today <laughs> i thought i was being sly what well, if I did a whole year exclusively of Game Gear Game I, Talk? Games? I feel like you have. I feel like you have. <laughs> <laughs> Getting there. No, be hard did you. Worry, but... By the way, SNK I, I, SNK counts as Game Gear to me. That's the, the, no, they might as well, pocket. No, they no, might as well be the two, same console. Mm, I've done two pocket games, two two and two Game Gear games. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've done like a I've done like a Game Boy game somewhere. I think uh, Quest Arrest, whatever that game was. I think it was a that was a Game Boy game. Is that our next community discourse? Game Gear versus Neo Geo Pocket. Color? Game Gear. Oh, look, no, it, that's unfair. If you put Game Gear against anything, it's gonna win. So you can't. That's true. I mean, that's that's just a fact. It's but I, I, you know, I popular. can't wait for what you pick for Dude Month. I I really am praying that it's a, it's on, a Game Gear classic. Let me look. Hold on. Yeah, let's see it. This is the segment. Why? Alex looks at his shelf. Pull something off. Yeah. yeah Alex Pulled looks at it. his shelf. What does he I'm, pull? I'm taking my... Uh, no, I have my, game, I have my game Gear carrying case. Right oh, now. my God. That's so embarrassing. Why would you show that to the camera? Because it's amazing. Um, <laughs> no. Okay, we got... Uh, okay, well, this one is not going up. This is columns. Um, went up. <laughs> it just went up as he's putting okay, it Okay, we got... I got Streets of Rage... Uh, I got uh, uh, sh- Chicago Syndicate. You know, I got some dude games I can I, I can do for dude month here. 
Uh, Star Star Star, Star Wars. Wars. You got to be a real dude to like Star Wars. You know? That's true. Uh, that yeah. is. <laughs> That's so good in here. Oh 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 oh! This is it. This is the one. Um, Dragon the Bruce Lee story. Yeah. That's pretty dude horrific. That's pretty dude, right? Yeah. See, game, game Gear can fit any scenario, Spencer. Yeah. There's one scenario I think it fits perfectly, but I won't say it. You better not say it. Look, I, really, I really leave this case right here so, so no, we can all see the, Put it away. Like, the, no, put we can all see the Game Gear away. case in the background. That way, look, you get the Sega logo right here, and then you get the Game Gear case right here. Oh, my God. I think I think people should comment and leave a comment about what they think about that Sega bag. The game. My Gear. game gear. That was a gift from Damon, man. The Game Gear carrying case. He he was very thoughtful in, in buying me this Game Gear carrying case. He set you up. He set you up to get made fun of online. Te- Terry, as I always say, let him have it. I actually did a review of that when I got it, but I also had um, bronchitis. So in the review, yeah, 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 it's like 2017. In, in the review, I'm like, ra- I'm like super fucking raspy because I can't talk. So, I'm, so you know, so so like I'm like I was like I'm not sick anymore, but my vo- my throat's all torn up. So I'm like, yeah, I'm here to review the Game Gear Carry case. <laughs> nice. Is it still up? Yeah, it's I I believe it's. Let me look. I. If not, I will make it public again, but I believe it's still public. Gamers, let's go watch Alex with Bronchitis review the Game Gear carry. Oh, case. shit. <laughs> Hold on. I'll, I wonder if the audio would come through. Let me, let me find it real fast. Because I seriously, was like, for like three weeks, I had no voice. Hold on. I gotta scroll. Why do I do so many videos? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with me? Fox has left the 80s. Yeah, I took the glasses Spencer's off. The only ones back. Yeah. Those gla- I do, dude, I have a big head, and those glasses don't really fit me. Um, Yeah, it's still up. It has 400 views. Put it in the Discord. It. Put it in the Discord. It's a teaser. Oh, well, hold on. Hold on. I'm finished. We start this video. I wanted to let you know that my voice... Oh, shit. Middle it... Jesus here? Oh, no. It skipped to a Middle Jesus video. I hit the fucking microphone. That's good. Anyway, uh, no, this is back when I use that intro. I to let you know that my voice sounds like this because I have been very sick. I I, I feel better now, but <laughs> sound like shit. Apparently, I have an allergic like reaction smell. to my cold, so I can barely speak. You sound like a completely so different I, person. I it was awful. That was like an awful three weeks where like I just could not talk. <laughs> Damn. So like that's like the the most I did was that like super short um thing. I'll here I'll put it in the button banter, and nobody will understand why until this episode comes up. <laughs> that's the joy of being in our Discord, is you get you get shown things you don't understand why you need to see them until <laughs> weeks later. Yeah, it's a three minute video. That's the only thing I did when I had bronchitis because I was like I can't handle this. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, did it? We drove. We we got a refill. Yep. Stay ready for the for, uh... next. We have a commute. Well, it, it feels weird because we already did our discourse. So, coming up next, we have a map out and a community discourse. Yeah. We're gonna do the zombie month map out finally. That we already did that last week. Hopefully. <laughs> Will we? No, I think wouldn't Game Talk still go? No, up no, on no, 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 no. <laughs> so it'll be the first. The first video we do of the month will be the would map be out the zombie the last map month. out, and then this will be after that. Okay. And then it'll be the other two leading yeah. into Motor Month. Okay. We'll see how it goes. It'll go. go Questions for Dude Month. Kids out there, don't forget to submit your things for the community discourse. So you can become question master. I hope Tyler gets it. So we can get all the Sean Connery questions. Well, I'll throw some hope out there for Tyler. Yeah. I need to put Sonic Trick back on the uh, bag. From Tyler to the Drive Lord. 
Ooh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to pull a random game out of my bag. Ready? Oh, oh. my God. The worst game we have on the, on the show. Primal Rage! I actually had a, a video or a toy of that when I was a kid. Miss Pac Man. I actually had a toy I of that when I was a kid. Game. Tasmania? You have, toy Tasmania? you have to make the case for how all these apply to Dude Month. Okay. Well, uh, okay, so let's let me go back. A primal Rage. Primal. That's like the that's like the very essence of being a dude. Well, dudes love dinosaurs, right? man. That's true. Miss Pac-Man, that's just Pac-Man with a bow. Come on. Dudes need to learn how to um, embrace feminism and respect women. Taz is the ultimate dude. Look at him. The Chad. Yeah. That's what we got here. Give us a link. Oh, it links, links a dude. Oh, Virtual <laughs> Fighter. Links, links the board. animation. What is that? Yeah. Virtual Fighter, the animation. It's the Game Gear Virtual Fighter fighting game based on the Virtual Fighter anime. Y'all know anime is a dude thing. Oh, is this like... Um, and I paid, like I street, paid 10 dollars for this. Like Street Fighter, the movie, the game or something? Yeah, basically. Yeah. That's more dudes. Can we end? If we don't, by the way, if oh, uh, there's an NBA jam. If we don't end the show, that's dudes, right? That's all dudes. If we yeah. don't end the show, I'm just going to go through all of my um, games here. I spoke to the Chuck guy. Rock. I spoke to the guy that does the NBA jam voice, like the, the voiceover guy. Oh, yeah. did you? Really? I spoke to him a couple times, but yeah, I did, spoke did, to him this over last weekend. Tim something or other. Why? Uh, he's a... Because I was doing the Game On Expo last weekend with, with my boy Joel over a media glitch. And he does the, he interviews oh, all these people. Okay. And I, I talked to him a little bit after the interview. Cool guy. Did so, he go, boom, chakalaka? He did that plenty during the, uh, the thing. He did a bunch of weird voices. But he's he's very funny. He's like a he's an actual like comic actor. Like he was in Second City with, with Steve Carell and Tina Fey. And he okay. he like I don't know. I was I was surprised by that. He's just his ambitions are basically just the NBA guy. And it was like I I told him like you should just do stand up. You're very funny. You could do so much more. And he seemed kind of shy about it. Oddly, mm. I don't know. Maybe he'd rather sit down. <laughs> he could be the first. This is where we end the show. He's this is where we end the show. Don't the respond. Sit down. Don't respond. Okay, okay. Don't feed it. Don't feed into it. <laughs> He's not bad. responding is a response. Just, Thanks Teddy's for a bad influence. Let him sit. <laughs> Let him sit his regrets. <laughs> no regrets. You're a shameless baby. I got no shame. <laughs> I don't believe in it. Just enjoy it. Yeah, Teddy, didn't you say that in your video recently? Like, I have no, I don't believe in shame or something like that. I don't believe in shame, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not real. It's fake news. Yeah. Fake news. Just like motor month. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Uh, I'm going to have a nice drink of water as you uh, quit the recording. Here we go. Okay, I stopped recording. (laughs) (laughs) Fencer's still recording. Hey, y'all, don't forget to subscribe to them button mappers.